Hey Libra, how are you doing? This is Jamie. Welcome to Soulvine Guidance. We are checking in for your sun, moon and rising energies. If we haven't met before, we've been here for a while. Uh, we've been focusing a lot on Pisces clan and building up an incredible soul tribe here. And we're expanding as, as you do because we would have a sun, moon rising and are connected to many different things when it comes to astrology and our chart. So we want to connect into that for you and bring it. So I love that you're here. Connect on in. Let's get you some answers because we're all about supporting your spiritual journey and, you know, living the best life at the end of the day. So guys, I love that you're here. So let's connect in. We're going to, um, you can find readings each week for you. Um, and like I said, all zodiac signs. So we're going to connect into the current energies and then we're going to look at the influence and then the outcome okay and we'll further clarify as well at the end i will get you a pick a card so you get your dedicated answer from spirit that you need to hear today so let's have a look at the main energies and what's going on for you i'd also love to know what your sun moon and rising is so pop that in the comments below that will be great okay so kicking off, we've got Door to Spirit, we have Victory, Magician in the Mirror, Walking Away, Hostilities, Contract, The Temple Path, Healer of the Ages, one more Spirit, thank you, and Blossoming Abundance. Okay, this is looking great, guys. So... There's something that you're feeling led to, or maybe you're waiting for a message. You've been praying, connecting it to spirit, whatever that may be. I feel something's coming in if it hasn't already to support your journey. Okay. I don't know if this is through your dreams or just things you may download through meditation or something that just pops up or have an epiphany. Maybe you might even find someone gives you a message that just really connects and it changes the course of something here. Because what I can see is happening that whatever message comes through is that this is the next successful chapter that you're heading into. Okay. The Magician in the Mirror 2 is a lot about manifesting. A big part of this manifestation or creating is recognizing where you also need to balance things out in your life to make yourself a powerful force to attract in the things that you desire. The mirror part is the reflection. So connecting into what that is for you, you know, how are you showing up for yourself? How are you feeling about yourself? What are you putting out into the world with your thoughts, your feelings, your actions? Cause this is what creates the true manifestation. I mean, we're manifesting all the time, right? So there's something here about, going bigger, larger, and really connecting into that because you recognize here there's something in your life that you need to need to move away from because it isn't supporting your best self is what it seems. You're recognizing there's something that you can do, something you can go after or something that you believe in. So now is the time to get real on that and push in and it's okay to shift away from the things that aren't serving you. I know that you may not be ready just yet, or it could be in a bit of a pause mode right now because you're, it seems that you're in conflict with something here, but you're moving through this conflict, whatever, whatever this is. I don't know if there's been an offer and opportunity that's presented itself. This is part of the victory and really exciting for you. And you're leaving something or someone, a job, a relationship, um, a home, like you're going in a bit of a different direction, but this is really empowering for you. Okay. I just, I still see, like I said, that there's some thing that's conflicting for you, or maybe things that you're working through on a mental level that you want to balance out because I feel there's some commitment that you have or somewhere that you want to be. Um, but you also want things to be right, you know, and what this right is, uh, is just something that feels in alignment for you that is congruent to your values and your morals. Uh, and that's what's really showing up here with whatever this change is happening, whatever this expansion of yourself is happening here, Libra, I'm seeing with this temple path, healer of the ages and the blossoming abundance that you're going on a pretty awesome journey. There's something that you're leveling up in. I feel mentally, but spiritually, okay. There's a newfound, like the way I call it is a newfound flex, something that you can flex and use that you master and become really good at applying it in your life 
to live the best life, to better yourself, this higher version of yourself. And that's what I feel is happening with this temple path. It's a bit of a spiritual expansion. I mean, that's what we're here for, right? At the end of the day, growth and to do just amazing things. And that's what I feel here, the healer of the ages. There's something that you're really stepping into that's going to another level here. This could be a person um, that you're connecting into or just going deeper on your spiritual journey. I think uncovering things, learning things about yourself and the power that you have when you get to apply all these things turns into this blossoming abundance and it's blossoming. Not just a one-off thing here, a one-off thing there. Things just start to get better in all areas of life. And I think this is something that you're really acknowledging on a different level this time around so i think that is pretty awesome let's have a look at what this influence is here right now that you need to know what's the influence that libra needs to know we've got financial constraints and man holding a heart so this could be learning something about yourself here. Yes, it may be financially, but but of late I've been really connecting into this energy and it's coming up again here around something that hasn't been enough or not feeling enough or whatever energy work that you're doing, enough still not coming out of it. So, and it's hard when you recognize that, but it also puts sometimes us in a situation that, we're kind of stuck, but we're looking at what's missing versus what we have. And it goes into this little bit of a cycle of mm, how, do, how, do we, how do we lift this energy up? How do we make the changes we need to make in our life so we're not sitting and concerned or worried about this? Because that's a lot of stress we actually end up taking on in our body, in our spirit, when we're in a state of concern, in a state of what if there's not enough or I'm not feeling enough or that I can't, you know, take this to the next level that I need to take it. But in, in addition to here, we've got man holding a heart, which is very much um, like a King of Cups energy. So this is talking about the, the depths of something. So the depths emotionally, the depths of, you know, connecting on a different level around something. So I feel this is, yeah, being highlighted right now. I don't know if this is like an offer, an opportunity coming in Again, you stepping up to a new version of yourself here, Libra, where you recognize that your, your way of managing things, you're very good at doing that from um, a mental aspect. It's just, it's how you operate and you shut things out when you need to shut things out and you just keep moving on and doing what you've got to do. Okay. But underneath it all, that's how you've learned how to cope. And sometimes as part of this is that we go on a bit of a journey because even though we've gone through life and had some, you know, just, just living life as we know it, doing the best that we can. I think there's been some path that we've gone at some point in time here that's trying to reconnect with you. I don't know if you've gone on a little bit of a sideways journey somewhere because of someone or a situation and it's put you in this place now where you're really looking at it and reflecting what you actually want because where you were wasn't really what you wanted, but it felt good at the time. Um, and maybe this is part of the conflict and recognizing what you need to walk away from and you're working on that. Um, but I like it because wherever you're heading, it, there's a lot of depth here emotionally that makes you feel good and there's a lot of success on the other side of this. So let's have a look at what the outcome is and then we'll further clarify. Caring connections. Okay. So caring connections, we have got indecision, we have got patience and then we've got woman holding a coin. So there's something here that seems to have meaning to you or maybe that's what you're waiting on for something to come together to work out. I don't know if it's something that is also part of your life and your world that as you're working through this and this next chapter of you, Libra, there's also something that has deep meaning to you and you're unsure what to do or you're concerned that how do you bring this back to some form of stability or some form of success, whatever that is for you. I think a part, like I said, is you learning more about yourself, 
and then what you want to do with it. Because I think there's some part of a learning journey here for you on a spiritual level, which ends up connecting all parts of ourselves, right? When we, when we up, upgrade our spirituality and go into the depths of who we are, higher self, higher power, whatever that is for you, that things just naturally open up. You're coming from a deep place of love. And I feel with this deep place of love, with time, things become clearer. The decisions, where you want to go, what you want to do become clearer. doesn't mean that it's easier because, you know, when you make decisions, sometimes you're leaving something behind or you're, you know, you're going into a pretty significant unknown. But what I do see with woman holding a coin, there is something financially that is changing for you that's putting you in a really secure position or putting you in a position that you feel connected on a family level um, where you, you feel at home, where you feel that you're being nurtured but can nurture others. And it's this ebb and flow energy I think that you've been waiting for for some time. But maybe shut yourself out a little bit along the way because you felt safer there. No expectations, didn't care kind of energy. So let's see where this is taking us because I like that things, where things are going. But I feel that there's something important that you need to know. And then at the end, like I said, we'll get you a... Um, an angel answer card or angel guidance card. So door to spirit, you've got temperance. So there's something that's happening that's working behind the scenes that I feel that one, to learn more about yourself and what you're doing and what you're creating here right now. Victory, we've got the sun. So whatever this is that's happening, working, spirit's trying to get your attention to, the victory with the sun, something massive's happening here for you, in support of you, in success of you, what is it that you want? Because we're seeing this shine and bright, being lit up, right path, right direction, right place, right time. God has got you. And it's all been about divine timing at the end of the day. So I don't know what's next for you, but this is really exciting. Magician in the mirror, you got four of wands. So this does seem to be connected to home space or a space where you feel home, where you feel connected. And wherever you're heading next, this is about this dream path, this dream goal, uh, of just really being connected to this next path that you're going on. So uh, this is pretty, pretty wild. Wherever you go on, you're manifesting it, you're creating it, you're becoming it. But I feel a part of this is paying attention to what spirit, where spirit's trying to lead you. And it's, what's interesting is sometimes it's just not that obvious. I get it, but maybe you get an inkling to go somewhere. Okay. Or maybe you get an inkling to answer a call that you never answered before. There's something here that I feel you're getting some message, some news, some understanding that's going to change the game, but this has been percolating or working in the background for some time that you're not aware of. And God spirit is working in your favor. Walking away. What do we need to know? King of wands. So whatever you're walking away from, this is getting back into the place that gets you excited, that you feel connected to, passionate pursuit of life and taking charge of that. And I love that for you. For some of you, maybe you're walking away from a king of wands energy, okay? Aries energy, um, fire energy, whatever that is for you, whatever this king of wands is representation for you, you're walking away from. Maybe for some of you, it was, you know, being in a place that you were just focused more on the feeling of things versus the depth of something. I don't know. There's something here you're walking away from, a person, situation, a belief, uh, something that you've been doing. But it's getting you, you're moving closer to these real goals and desires that you have and you want to take charge of that. Hostilities. We have got Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit. So I don't know if this is you questioning just going on your own, moving out on your own, doing your own thing. This is where you're in conflict with and why you may be going within, might be shutting down a little bit because you want to also power back up to this Nine of Pentacles energy. So there's success that's happening, but for some reason you're in conflict of whatever this success is happening. And I feel that for some of you, and it can happen to a lot of us, is this imposter syndrome kind of kicks in or that we think like, oh shit, I got here now, what am I meant to do with it? It's like things are so real. Things are happening, things are moving forward, things are changing and that can be scary because now it's kind of like you want to put a halt on it because you've got to figure out what to do next. And I can see here if there has been anything that's been coming towards you that is interfering your energy too much, I just, I really see you putting your hand out and kind of like, no, I'm not participating and you're staying in your power. So I don't know which one resonates for you here, but I definitely see you standing in your power, doing the thing that you need to do. And you might be spending time alone and working on yourself or working on something 
to get to where you need to go. You don't want the distractions. You don't want the things that are going to try and convince you to go another way. You know what you want or getting clearer on what you want at least. Contract, what do we need to know? Thank you. Nice. So we've got the world energy, the eight of wands and the three of cups. So the more you're staying focused, the more that you're doing your thing here, Libra, I see the world, the eight of wands and the three of cups is taking something that maybe there's an offer, an opportunity, something significant here that is going to be successful. The world is very successful energy. The world is like something coming full circle. Finally, this is also where you're protected and going on a next chapter. So I don't know what you are calling in specifically, but I feel like something's awakening here that might've been asleep for a little bit. Um, so I don't know if it's a new project or, or an idea that you had or a relationship, but whatever's coming in or being presented to you, uh, you're going to get the communication before you know it and you're going to be very happy about it. For some of you, it's getting back together with certain people. Um, I mean, yeah, we're in December season, so it, that can make sense as well. But this is something that you're committed to. Again, for some of you, this could be a relationship that's coming back in, igniting that. But for some of you, you've been really thinking about doing your own thing, going your own way. I, again, this could be work, relationship, uh, but something really good's coming on in. Whatever news information you have and things are going to really be kicking forward. So the temple path, interesting, we've got six of cups energy. So there's either two things I'm getting from here is either there's some soulmate energy that you're working with or working through or trying to understand more um, or maybe release or awaken. There's something here. In addition, this could be working through like ancestral stuff. This could be working through just like past things that have happened in your life that you really want to clear out. But when I say clear out, this is like an awakening energy. You're, become, you're coming more understood or understanding of certain things or how you've become how you've become. It's like you're looking at things from a different way, different angle and understanding it. And there's a lot of feeling around it, right? And while I know that you're a deep feeler, I know you're also very good at protecting yourself from feeling the things that you don't want to feel. But there's something that's happening here that I feel is kind of knocking down the shield that you have around your heart right now to dive in a little bit deeper to understand more of that. Healer of the ages. We've got a knight of wands. So whatever ends up presenting to you, this could be someone or something from your past this is going to be good energy for you because it's going to give you like a new, a new energy, a new force, something that excites you, something that gets you, you know, paying attention in a different way. And it, it's interesting because the more that you level up, the more that you attract people at that level. And you also have to have the discernment though, that you end up attracting a lot more things in. But this energy I feel is something that is charming. Uh, I not, I get decent intentions, I don't know if they're here to stay around a long while, if this is a particular person, but whatever they, they are and whoever they are, they are very good for you, for where you are right now, okay? Blossoming Abundance, what do we need to know? Ten of Cups, my goodness, my goodness. So there's something here that is, you're getting to a place of finally feeling good where you're at, knowing the decisions that you're making. So something is truly expanding for you, Libra. Financial constraints, you've got the star energy. Aquarius energy, um, This there's something that you're praying for, hoping for will shift. I can see this, but I also see this as healing, right? At the end of the day, whatever this is around, any blocks or any um, situation or relationship around money or giving and taking in a relationship or just energy overall towards something. But man holding a heart, we've got the seven of wands. And this is where I'm talking about your protective behavior and your defensive behavior around your heart space. It's like there's something that you believe in or something that you want to connect into and feel, but I think you're also trying to protect yourself. So there's a little bit of um, energy that kind of deflects a little bit. And I don't know if you realize that or someone that you're trying to protect which is really interesting. Can I get one more for the seven of wands, please? Yeah. I don't know if this is someone in your life already or someone that you're no longer with, 
but you're connected to this energy, whatever this energy is. And I don't think it's interesting. We've got two sevens here because I don't think you've even made up your mind of where you want to be or what you want to exactly do with a particular connection or how you want to show up for something particular. But I feel at the same time, you're still protecting it at all costs until you make up your mind. So whatever this offer opportunity, this role, this position that you're playing in, um, and when I say playing in its role performance, right, I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. You know, we play different roles subject to where we're at, like at home, if you're a mum or a dad, or if you're a sibling, you play a different role. If you're in the workplace, you play a different role. So that's what I mean here, that there's something here that you're figuring out how you want to show up for something. Um, and we've got 10 of Pentacles on the bottom here. So let's have a look at what this caring connection is and what we need to know. Page of Cups. So this is like some interest here that's showing up. It's a good start, right? It's a good start, but is it enough? So let's have a look where this patience energy. Five of cups, yeah. Someone's, I think, because things are taken time, things haven't been moving forward the way that you've wanted it. Maybe there's a part of you like, hey, do I need to get vulnerable? Do I need to share more? Um, or you need someone to share more about where they're at or how they're feeling. But someone's feeling a bit defeated, a bit down. But I do wonder, like, if someone needs to be a little vulnerable here and open up. And I feel like they will eventually in time. But there's not enough something happening here right now with this connection or with what's being presented. So a woman holding a coin, we've got the hanged one. So I don't know if there's someone interfering, has their own perspective on things, has a different viewpoint, and that's what's keeping things a little, you know, at a standstill. But what we can see is that when we've got indecision and six of pentacles, a big part is where where is the energy going? Where's the energy coming from? And really like looking and assessing what is going on here. What's going to push push you over that tipping point to make a decision? Is it action, what you need to see? Is it what you need to feel? Does it need to be in alignment, obviously, at the end of the day? There's something here about what you're also receiving, though, not just giving, that I feel is incredibly important. And I think that's why until you get to a certain point, you don't feel you can make a decision. So there's some bar or some measure that you may have here, Libra, that you're waiting on. Um but it's a little test in you at the same time. But amongst it all, things are going super awesome. So I don't know if this is another like something in the mix in addition to everything else that's going so wonderful in your life. Importantly, be gentle to yourself. Remember how amazing you are. And, you know, be, I think being, being true to yourself and standing up for what you want and sharing what you want is also going to be incredibly powerful for you. So let's... Pick a one, two, or three connected to spirit on what you need to know. And let's get uh, an angel answer for you. One, two, or three. You've chosen number one, the ocean. The deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the acts of imagining yourself dipping into healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. We do see, you know, there's something healing happening here on a few different levels, Libra. So I do anticipate, you know, even sometimes if you're not near the ocean or can't get near water or whatever it may be, even just I find um, in the shower, like doing, imagining like, with the water, like the cleansing light, the white light. I even buy like bath salts and, and just use that as a scrub on the body to help cleanse as well. Um, if you need another way to help support that. And it just clears away a lot of energy and gives you a new sense of freedom too. It's a visualization, which they're saying that you can do, but it's going to help support you healing and clearing out just energetically where sometimes things may be testing you when you get into potentially some space of feeling a bit defeated or disappointed or waiting, you know. Uh, number two, have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself, 
Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers, and we buoy you with courage and faith. I think you're doing okay in the confidence space, but in saying that, there's something that gives you a bit of a dip over here. So we need that's when we need to power up, trust in the process, guys, and into your higher power. Oh, I've never had this one before. Notice the signs. So if you chose number three, yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. Hello, daughter spirit. Um, we drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. I'm telling you, spirit's trying to talk to you right now, trying to give you a message. And that message could be a changing point for you. It's working in the background, dreams, meditation, like I said, a stranger, something that shows up, a sign of some kind that you might read, maybe a reading here. There's something here for you, Libra. Hang in there, trust in yourself. Keep remembering you're amazing, you're lovable and keep kicking it, kicking ass. We'll speak to you soon. If you feel connected, please like and subscribe and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye now.